Hello friends, I am Satin and today I am going to explain you a very important topic that is the degree of freedom in case of gases. Okay, okay. So first <laughs> we will discuss in it in gas in the case of monoatomic. Okay, so in monoatomic the gas is made up of atoms, individual atoms. Okay, so the <clears throat> so the degree of freedom in monoatomic mono gas is three okay and it includes all the transition motion if you look at this point if there is an atom at this at the center then it can move in the three directions namely x y and z so it can have the three translation motions that means it can have the translation in three directions okay so it will the degree of freedom in case of will be three okay okay so it is important to note at this point that they don't have the rotational degree of freedom okay the reason is that because of a small amount of inertia since the if the if the atom will rotate about its own axis so the the amount of inertia which will be calculated will be very less and that can be neglected that can be neglected okay okay and also they don't have the vibrational degree of freedom okay Okay. Now let's come to the diatomic uh, diatomic molecule. So in case of diatomic molecule, the degree of freedom is the sum of uh, translational degree of freedom that is three. Okay, so that means that if uh, the, the three deg degree of translation, that means that the molecule as a whole can move in the three direction. If you look closely at here, okay, so this is the so this is the diatomic. Uh, molecule and this molecule as a whole can move in x direction y direction or z direction okay so it can translate in the three directions okay so uh, it can have the three translational degree of freedom as well as this molecule can have two rotational degree of freedom okay so how it will have two rotational or degree of freedom you can understand it here so you can see that this is the this is the molecule okay diatomic molecule and it is placed along the y axis so this molecule can rotate about the z axis like this okay so it can it can rotate along the z axis so it will have one de rotational degree of freedom and again this molecule can rotate about x axis as you can see that okay okay so it will have the now it will have a two rotational degree of freedom including these two and if you look at this now along the y it, its rotation along the y is uh, is invalid and cannot be uh, cannot be taken into consideration so this is a invalid rotation along the y so it will have only two uh, two two degrees of uh, uh, freedom uh, for rotation okay so it will have two rotational degree of freedom so finally uh, if you add this then the, it will have five uh, five degrees of freedom okay and this is at room temperature so at room temperature it can have five degrees of freedom but what happens at the high temperature at high temperature it will have three transitional degree of freedom plus two rotational degree of freedom as well as two vibrational degrees of freedom okay so at high temperature molecule can vibrate also so uh, total in total it will have seven degrees of freedom okay so the high temperature means that the temperature above 100 uh, sorry at uh, th temperature above the thousand kelvin okay that can be taken to be a high temperature now in case of polyatomic guess uh, so what will happen is that it will have three translational degree of freedom uh, and uh, three rotational degrees of freedom okay and uh, it uh, and it, uh, so if you add these two then it will have six so at room temperature the polyatomic gas will have uh, six degrees of freedom so uh, you can see that uh, uh, this three comes from if there is an if there is a, uh, a polyatomic molecule i have drawn it more than two atoms so that it can look like polyatomic okay so consider that this is the polyatomic molecule so this molecule as a whole can move in the three directions okay namely x y and z x y and z so it will have the it can translate in the three directions therefore it will have three trans translational degree of freedom 
and then it can this uh, molecule can also have a uh, rotation okay this molecule can rotate along all the three uh, axes okay so it will have three rotational degrees of freedom okay so at room temperature it will have six uh, degrees of freedom okay but uh, if we raise the temperature then the molecule will add in addition to the translational and rotational degrees of freedom it will have some vibrational degrees of freedom and that is calculated here here n is the number of atoms in uh, in the molecule okay so this is what i have explained you right now is that uh, this is the degrees of freedom that you just have understood okay and all these are in the cases of in the case of gas okay in the case of solid the things are becomes different okay so that's uh, the, that i am not going to discuss right now okay okay so let's uh, come to our question that was asked in csir net okay okay so in the csir net june 2016 physics the question was the specific heat per molecule of a gas of diatomic molecule at high temperature is so at high temperature they have asked us the specific heat of the diatomic molecule for an atom for an for a molecule okay so that the answer is 3.5 kb kb is the boltzmann constant let's see how to bring this answer okay so we will exploit the one important law that is the law of uh, equipartition of energy according to the equipartition of energy average energy of a molecule per degree of freedom is half kbt that is the case the boltzmann's constant t is the absolute temperature in kelvin okay so here the average energy is the kinetic energy and we don't include here the potential energy because for the because we are talking about the ideal gas and in case of the ideal gases uh, the energy is mainly the its internal energy is mainly due to the uh, uh, its uh, kinetic energy okay okay so uh, now as we have already seen that for diatomic molecule at high temperature the degree of freedom is uh, 7 so the average energy is 7 times half kbt okay okay <laughs> so uh, this is the internal energy and we all know that the specific heat is at constant volume is equal to du over dt okay and we will now differentiate this we will plug the values and then on differentiating we will arrive at this point and that can also be written like this okay so this is our answer okay so there is an important note that you can uh, and, uh, that you can note down is that total energy of an ideal gas is due to its kinetic energy only so your internal energy is equal to kin its kinetic energy okay okay friends thanks for watching this video if you really like my video please uh, like subscribe like subscribe and share my videos okay thank you very much okay